Okay, so everybody's getting ready for deer season that's coming up and getting broadheads and broadhead tuning. Now, I go about broadhead tuning a little bit different than the general bow hunters out there in the world. Usually what you'll do broadhead tuning is you'll get a field point and you'll get a broadhead arrow. You'll shoot your broadhead arrow and your field point and see if they're hitting close together. If not, you'll move your rest left, right, up, or down to get them hitting together on a target. I don't use my field points at all during deer season. I use broadheads throughout season and that's it. So with me, what I'll end up doing is paper tuning my broadheads. Sighting in, walk back tuning, everything with my broadheads and not switching over to my field points. Behind me is if you don't have a paper tuner, it's a makeshift paper tuner that I used uh, cardboard and two by fours on and built that. If you don't build one, you can also use a cardboard box. Big rule of thumb is make sure it's the same height as you are on a platform that's as high as you bring it up. So first off, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get a regular arrow with a field point on it. And you wanna stand about, general rule of thumb, a couple feet back, probably a yard or two back make sure that everything's coming out of there with a the field point shooting good so i'm gonna shoot one through this and see how the tear is so can't ask no better for that you can see a flitch in there 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 and there and then we punched a hole right through the center of the point and the knock and it shot a perfect bullet hole so now i'm going to go outside and i'm going to stick that paper tuner up to a broadhead target and I'm going to shoot the broadhead through it now that we know that the field points and the rest and the D-loop and everything shooting a perfect bullet hole everything's set up right. Okay so we're back here at the broadhead target and for this one I'm going to have to get on my knees which is fine if you have to get lower just make sure that your core and everything up from there is in good alignment whenever you're doing this test. Now if you're scared whenever you're paper tuning and that you need a buddy to watch your arrow height. If you're doing it from one to two yards, usually between 55 to 70 yards on your site will get you perfect to put your pin on wherever you want to hit the paper and it should hit there. Just make sure you have good form. But we're gonna test the broadheads out and this is where the cardboard comes into play because with paper, it gets kind of hard to read the tear so a stiffer material actually helps a lot. So I'm gonna shoot this and see how the broadhead does. So as you can see, I got a blade here, blade here, and blade here. The broadhead shot a perfectly bullet hole so I know that the bow is tuned and everything's good for this setup and I'm ready to side it in. Now just for fun I'm going to go back to 20 yards and I'm going to shoot at that dot there with my practice tip and then I'm going to shoot at that same dot with the broadheads and see how they hit. Okay. Right here's 20. Practice tip first. Now time for the broadhead. And I know, pray to God I don't hit the back of this shaft. But if I do, oh well. So good too. As you can tell, both shafts hit close together, so I know I'm good to go out and do my walk back tuning, which will be my next step for my broadheads, and then sight my bow in, get my sight tape set, and then I'm ready for season. Mm -hmm.